Fish of Gorman. I'm Danielle Harris, and today is the feast day of the Annunciation, the day that the angel Gabriel came down and told Mary that she was gonna have little baby Jesus. So just like Gabriel announced to Mary that she was gonna have Jesus, I'm announcing the morning announcements to you guys. So, so I think that that puts me on like angel level, I would say, I would say yes. With that, please stand for the prayer and the pledge. Let us remember that we're in God's holy presence. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Dear God, thank you for giving us both Mary and your son, Jesus. Thank you for putting him on this earth just for us, just to save us. We are truly blessed. Glory be to God in all things. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And now for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> did, you miss up, uh, did you miss us, Bishop Corbin? Because BGTV is coming at you in five, five four, four, three, two, one! one. And this is BGTV. It's great to be back on this windy Monday morning. It's March 26, 2012, and on this day in 1976, Queen Elizabeth II became more technologically advanced and sent the first royal email. Since then, we know today that the Queen actually has a Twitter account. We just ask that you wait to start following her tweets until after this broadcast. Today marks the first day of the fourth quarter, so we can all say goodbye to those third quarter grades and get ready for a fresh start. Seniors, you're almost done, but keep up the great work because every second counts, and you never know if those schools are going to ask you for your second semester grades. We can't stress this enough. Students, you must purchase your prom tickets this week or you will not be attending the dance. Also, remember that we will have block days this week, so plan accordingly. We have some very special guests visiting us this Tuesday and Wednesday as part of, as part of our fifth annual author event. Three distinguished authors that include Hollywood screenwriter Warren Lewis, Holocaust survivor Stephen Nazar, and police lieutenant Randy Sutton will be on campus to educate the sophomores through seniors who have been reading their pieces of work. Students, remember that this Thursday we will be celebrating our Lenten prayer service, so all students will be required to wear their mass uniforms. Again, all students must wear their mass uniforms this Thursday. Also, a friendly reminder goes out to those who have not completed their required amounts of service hours. Your time is running out. Checkmate. This coming Tuesday and Wednesday, the Bishop Gorman Chess Club will be hosting a tournament in Route 115 after school, and all students are welcome to participate. Congratulations goes out to ASG for receiving the Silver Star Award and the Nevada Gold Council of Excellence Award this past weekend in Reno. And congrats to the speech and debate top three state finalists, Michael McIntosh, Connor Gaffney, and Brittany Gregory this past weekend in Minden, Nevada. Well, spring has sprung, and so is the spring musical. In case you missed it, Janice Asen has more. Oklahoma, the original American musical from Rodgers and Hammerstein, took center stage at the Gym 3 House of Performing Arts these past three weekends. Set in the Western Indian Territory at the turn of the century, Oklahoma tells the love story of a headstrong cowboy named Curly and Lori, a spirited farm girl. I play Lori Williams, and she's the one that falls in love, who the love story kind of revolves around. And she's deciding whether she should go to the box social the dance with Curly or Judd. So the story is following her decision and who she decides to go with. Months of rigorous rehearsals led to another successful production. Led by Miss Elena Ferrante Martin, the Gales Theatre Guild brought the classic story to life. The cast and crew have worked very hard on uh, putting the production together. We started in like the last week of November, so we've been working at it very steadily, and um, they've been working really hard. I'm really proud of them. 
with plenty of heart, drama, and music, Oklahoma was another hit. This is Janice Sason reporting for BGTV. Yeah! And congrats to the thespians who won state this past weekend and will be heading to Nebraska this June for nationals. And congratulations to Mrs. Ferrante Martin for taking Theater Teacher of the Year Award. Break legs, everyone. And as our weather tries to cooperate, spring sports are heating up. For more on that, here's Tanisha Figueroa. Thanks, Alex. All right, I'm going to apologize in advance, but it's true. Baseball and golf are in full swing. Sorry, guys, it was too easy. On Friday, the varsity baseball team posted what looks more like a football score, trouncing Western 23-9. A.J. Van Rietren and Kenny Meimersdorf went deep as the Gales pounded out 12 extra base hits in the victory. This week, they headed out to the USA Baseball National Invitational in North Carolina to play Southern California's Modern Day High School. In golf news, our men's team took second out of eight teams at the Canyon Gate match. Our low scorer was Dylan Garrett at 83, followed by our own Bryce McGeckron and Frank Frisbee. Way to go, guys. Finally, congratulations to the women's varsity lacrosse team, who has had a busy couple of weeks. Last Thursday, they beat Faith Lutheran 8-6 and are now in second place in their division. They're headed up to San Diego over the Easter holiday to compete in the Jam by the Sea tournament. Keep up the good work, ladies. I'm Tanisha Figueroa, and that's all for sports. And that's it for us as well. Have a great day, everyone. I'm Alex Porterfield. And I'm curious about what you tweet if you're the queen of England. <laughs> and this is BGTV. Greatest could it possibly be the best day ever. Today is going to be a great day.